have you here is really <laughs> something I have to make many pictures <laughs> to remind, to remind us. Anyway, so sorry, it was raining. Usually it's not like this, but we need rain. <laughs> we need rain. <laughs> Very precious. And uh, I hope tomorrow will not be rain. So you you can take a look around and we can show you better what is around. Um, for this evening, the program is uh, to start to introduce shortly before <laughs> at the beginning of uh, Christian history um, in the garden around the field around uh, Christians that were persecuted in Rome came he here to pray to avoid persecution in Rome. Um, anyway, for sure, it's a historical place because when we um, Dig, 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 dig. Uh, to, to plant some uh, plants, <laughs> we could find some ruins from uh, old villa. <laughs> and uh, there is also a, a place down there uh, where there is an, an ark that is part of the old Roman Empire, uh, Roman aqueduct <laughs> oh. <laughs> water. Uh, we, we discovered recently, and uh, is, uh, yeah, is, uh, people come all around to look at uh, it. Uh, they organize a pilgrimage <laughs> to look at <laughs> this uh, particular ruins. Okay, so please. Um, <coughs> um, my parents are from Angola and San Tome. Um, I love Google, and I work as a nurse. I work as a nurse. Oh, no. I'm from Portugal. Uh, uh, loudly because oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I cannot hear. Uh, my mom is from Portugal and my dad is from Romania. And I'm 19 and I'm studying agronomical engineering. And my favorite color is green. <laughs> yeah, I'm Vika. Uh, I'm from Ukraine. My parents also from I'm third generation, and yeah, so I like a giant fan to fancy. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, and uh, uh, I finished uh, medical university, and uh, now I like develop our youth community in Poland. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and uh, uh, my favorite color is green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Nadia. I'm uh, like originally from Lithuania, uh, then moved to Ukraine, so I represent the Ukrainian community. Uh, I'm also first gen, finished veterinary medicine, and now working with youth uh, full time and in Poland. Mm -hmm. uh, favorite color green. green. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Oksana. Originally I'm from Ukraine, but I blessed with Romania, and we live in, in the UK, London. <laughs> I have two lovely children, two girls, nine and almost three. And uh, my favorite color, yellow. Oh. <laughs> I'm Renate Alexbauer from Vienna, Austria. I was born Austrian, my parents were Austrian. Austria. <laughs> and my favorite color is dark purple. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Time we were national leader in Italy, and uh, now we are South Europe regional uh, president, uh, responsible also for Women Federation South Europe and in Italy. And we have four children. Our blessing is for from 1989. Uh, it, <laughs> 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 and uh, my favorite color is. Uh, uh, green or blue? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> hello everybody. <laughs> nice to see you all. My name is uh, Tina, Tina Kunz. I'm originally Austrian. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm, I'm British because my husband is Welsh. So there you go, the Welsh. Um, Okay, I have been working with the Women's Federation ever since it began in 1992, and it 
it's my great honor and privilege to be still here with you, precious sisters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much. And my favorite color. It's interesting because it's actually blue, as you can see here, but I love also green. So, <laughs> thank you. Nice to be here. With you. I am from Russia. Uh, I joined in Germany. <laughs> and I always like to say, because it's really true, this wonderful lady is by a wonderful man who gave all the first lectures to me. <laughs> because this is very precious. <laughs> and we have, with my husband, we have three daughters. They all study in Korean, Sangun University. Yes, and we don't have anybody at home. <laughs> yes, I always dreamt to have a son too, but now I have three sons. So oh, yeah. <laughs> wonderful sons. And I also can't choose between green and blue, so I like both. <laughs> Born Romanian, and uh, my husband uh, is Italian, and um, um, uh, we've been we were blessed in uh, 2001, and we got a daughter, 22 years old. She has uh, been matched recently, and she uh, got you a blessing. So, no, nice to see you all. Um, I'm Vigdis Parkins uh, from Norway, and uh, that's where I have lived the last 20 years. I got a son and a daughter in the 30s, and uh, my favorite. So the color is definitely not white. <laughs> it's been so much snow. So, so recently I go and I buy a big bunch of tulips with all different colors. I feel every cell of me is craving colors. Any color, rainbow. <laughs> living in Austria. <laughs> colours. I love bright colours. I when you say favourite colour, I think no, I can't today it's this, tomorrow it's that. <laughs> purple but not doesn't have to be deep purple, lilac, <laughs> turquoise. I love this yeah. this turquoise <laughs> blue green. <laughs> <laughs> My son Andy is blessed with Francesca Cirelli, whose mother was here in the early days. Her, her father was responsible for, for the workshop centre here. Yes. And I came here in 1989 for the RYS as a volunteer for one week with my husband and our five-month-old son. So I saw how we were painting and, and renovating and building and scraping and I, I don't even remember, it. I get the feeling it was that room in there and there weren't any windows. Oh. So I'm very happy to be here again and especially for my daughter-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm responsible for UN work in Vienna. Mm -hmm. and what color? I like every color. My grandchildren always ask me, what the color is <laughs> I say, today is red. <laughs> yeah, so really red, but I like all colors. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Good evening. I'm born in Java. Yes. I don't know why I'm here.
because I know Mitty, we've had some great experiences together and Mitty was coming to Ireland last year and Women's Federation was never something that I felt, oh yes, Women's Federation. <laughs> it was something, you know, I appreciated it but I didn't necessarily feel a calling to be involved in Women's Federation and I preferred other things maybe more spiritual things or different things. But anyway, when Mitty came, maybe out of embarrassment because we're a small nation, we thought we better get the, the sisters together. <laughs> and then since then, we've been to Kosovo, we've been to Cyprus, and then I am absolutely blown away by Women's Federation. And I just think, I don't know why I didn't see it before or why I didn't want to to respond to it before, but now I just think, my goodness, Women's Federation is amazing. And also it takes the pressure off. Woo! It takes the, you know, because we're really needing not just our movement, you know, but externally, we, there's many things we don't have expertise in. There's so many troubles everywhere. And if we can collaborate and work together, and it's true that Mother says, you know, we need the women, we need that mother's heart. And there is, is there mother hunger at the moment on the <coughs> earth we need the only solution the only way to go beyond it you know mm. is with that mother's heart so mother is amazing <coughs> and i am really delighted to be part of women's federation now and i can't i got a bit carried away there <laughs> because i just felt very delighted to be here and uh, yeah is that so i Son got blessed, oh, so that was amazing. First oh, yeah, sorry, my first son. <laughs> second child. <laughs> my second child, first son got blessed. The second son is 13, so I got quite blessed. Yes, my second son's only 14, actually. So, but anyway, listen, that's great. And colors, listen, it's hard to choose one, but I heard a lot of greens. <laughs> There's a reason why you like green ladies, so come and chat to me later. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate uh, Wada, so my husband is Japanese. I'll be blessed in 1982 in Korea. And I have uh, five children, they're already grown up. Um, so I started Women Federation in Czech Republic, in fact, because in 1992 I was in Czech Republic for two or three years, two years and everything. And then I carry on with Women Federation in Finland, yeah. where I stay for six years. Mm -hmm. And then from Finland, I came to France finally. <laughs> then I remained in France since that time. And then I became Women Federation uh, president since uh, 2009. <laughs> so it's time now to find somebody else, <laughs> younger one. Uh, and then also I'm responsible for the West region, yeah, the West region. Uh, so I'm very happy to see you, all of you, and 
it's really great to see persons, not only by Zoom, you know, all the time. So to be together, that is really great. And thank you for Elizabeth to welcome us. <laughs> it's very nice. Um, yeah, my older, I have three girls and two boys. So the first three are girls and the two youngest ones are boys. Um, my favorite colors will be uh, sky blue. <laughs> I always look at the sky blue. <laughs> and, uh, and then also the purple, the light purple, you know, like uh, violet, violet lilac. That is kind of color. Yep. Mm. Sweden, but also together with Vigdis, the regional director for the North region. And uh, uh, it was about a year ago since since I really got involved, thanks to Ms. T. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I've been uh, the president for, for Sweden before, actually many years ago, but also for a short time and uh, a few years before last year. But I, I needed Mitty's um, way of support <laughs> in order to take a step forward and really feel I could do something in Sweden. And, uh, and I'm very happy for that because I feel in Sweden and, and in Scandinavia we are so blessed actually compared to so many other countries. And I, I felt some frustration of not being able to find ways to, 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 to do work for women. And I really agree with what you say, Amanda, that it's, it's time for us. And this is really <laughs> your expression of saying mother hunger. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so obvious in the world now that this mother's heart of compassion and forgiveness and reconciliation, this ability to, to bring the world together is, is so important. So, uh, yes, my husband is American and I have one daughter and a wonderful son-in-law from Brazil, and he and I, we fight it off sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he has a lot of emotions and I do too sometimes. <laughs> I love him, and so he's really the son that I didn't have myself. And I have two grandchildren. Actually, they live on our, my street, yeah. and yes. it's so wonderful now because um, they lived in our apartment for two years, and I thought they would move away. And on the other side now, a new a blessed family moved in uh, just uh, about uh, right before Christmas, and um, they are from Congo, mm -hmm. and uh, their son and his wife from the UK, Carmel Hall. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, supposed to, I think she's supposed to come too. <laughs> but anyway, so 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 in this little street, I mean, it's it's very um, uh, maybe four hundred meters long. Oh. <laughs> we have three families, <laughs> so it's really wonderful. Yeah. My favorite color, I really like blue and green, but I'm always drawn to purple. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I guess it's purple. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm Marcia. Uh, I was born in Brazil, and uh, I live, uh, because of marriage, I live in Spain. So I represent all the Women's Federation in Spain. So it's normal for people to think that I'm Spanish, <laughs> but I'm not Spanish, I'm Brazilian. And um, I feel very much Brazilian now, because I, was, I spent 40 days there, very recently, so I feel I'm empowered in Brazil. <laughs> Uh, anyways, um, uh, I joined the Women's Federation right from its beginning in '93, and uh, I felt that it was something I wanted and needed to do. Uh, and immediately I identified with uh, and uh, felt insp inspiration to take initiatives and do whatever was, I mean, it was everything out of inspiration. Mm -hmm. Just to tell you something. I felt we had to do conditions, and I remember at that point, we would 
go around to city places and ask them if we could uh, give a, a conference. Mm -hmm. And our conference was to read to mother's speech. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we were doing only that. It was just mm -hmm. conditions. Mm -hmm. And then uh, once our Japanese leader became uh, Mr. Uh, Shibanuba, Shibanuba, Shibanuba. He came and said, You don't need to keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and so I said, Oh, okay, relieved. And we kept them uh, creating things. Uh, but, anyways, I'm blessed. I'm blessed, but I'm a previously married couple. And uh, my husband is Spanish. We have two children. They are grown up. I'm not yet blessed. And uh, 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 what else can I tell you? Um, as far as color, position. oh, my position. <laughs> I, we work very closely, Miti and I, and I'm in the executive board in Europe, and so doing a lot of things together. And um, uh, what I wanted to say about the color, uh, if I had to say, I like every color, sincerely. And uh, every time it's a different one. But if I had to choose one, I would say the green color of nature. That's mm -hmm. the color I like. How can I am from Germany. My husband is Norwegian. Uh, we have five children. He is the Eugen Taugen. Olga knows. Or many people know him. Anyway, we have four boys and one daughter. The daughter is since 10 years in California. Bless there, so we got a very nice daughter-in-law oh. from Italy. Oh. Yes. And we got recently another daughter-in-law in Korea now. She comes from California, oh. but originally she is Maori and Brazilian. Oh. So that's really good because no friends in Bavaria, ancestors and Maori uh, Brazilian ancestors. It's a really intense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I now, we had Carmen and Simon couple in our house for some years. They started family life with us, and now we have other son Andreas and Naomi. They came from far away now to us. Wow. But she is taking care of GPA, American missionaries in Europe and Africa. So she is traveling a lot, and Andreas, my son, is supporting this mission. So we are again, my husband likes mission. Anyway, he is always vertical. I am the down to earth person. <laughs> I am still making the money for all the traveling and for all the. <laughs> yes, but we have children also making money, so this is great. So I am supported to come here from my. Uh, <laughs> so, no, she is the vice president. I am in Germany responsible, not from the beginning, but watching from the beginning, involved in Munich from the beginning, and then some other presidents retired. So I was. We name man das. I was moved in. <laughs> but I like it. I was chosen. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> And now I can push my younger yes. because, because uh, I am beyond already uh, the age where we should be. Oh, don't believe that. <laughs> yeah, so I am looking for young, young ladies always. So Kefilwe is coming soon. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah. in Germany. Yeah, she's great. She came and by a marriage, so she's, so she's the niece. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even if Carmen likes to go to Italy, like now her parents live around the corner, Kefilu likes to go to South Africa, but always she comes back because the husband is there. So we have hope because of the young ladies. I'm still waiting for two other daughters in law. Because some more sons are in our family, but this is hard. So we pray always that the youth can be stable and can survive. Not only survive, but flourish. Yeah. 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 Yes. And if I see you, I have hope. And if I see her, I have hope. <laughs> because she brought the Italian spirit. The Italian spirit you will experience is a special spirit. My husband 
is now more Italian and American than you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because the Italian spirit is really. Yeah. <coughs> I like Italy, so I'm happy I was never here. So thank you. <laughs> My idea. Green. I like strong colors because. So, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Carmen Rizzi Hauner, as already my mother in law said. I grew up here. I'm 34 years old. 10 years, I'm blessed to a wonderful German man. Uh, now I'm living seven years, eight years in Germany. Yeah, long time. Uh, I'm a hairdresser. I don't have my scissor here, but I always like to do service, free service. <laughs> and I'm Magda assistant. I like it to call it that way. <laughs> I don't like the titles. They scare me. <laughs> uh, I'm very happy to be here again after so much time. And my favorite color is blue. Good evening, ladies. Uh, my name is Marilyn Angelucci, and um, where do I begin? I'm so happy to be back in Koli Matia. Uh, we came here after our first son was born, and we lived in the basement of this building for two and a half years or so. And uh, so it was very wonderful to be here. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm American, as you can. You all know, I know. <laughs> My husband's Italian. So, uh, and we live in Lebanon. And I'm president of Women's Federation in Afghanistan. I think since 1997. And before that, I was president of Women's Federation Romania. Right, Robertina? I'm sure we did things together in those days, right? And I think in 1994. So, uh, yeah. Um, I have... Uh, Two boys, and now I have two daughters and uh, six and a half grandchildren. Wow. Uh, so I'm six very, and a half. yeah, the second son's wife is pregnant, so I'm very excited. So that'll be seven. I think we'll stick to seven. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm very happy to be here. It's always wonderful to be with Women's Federation, and uh, because we're women. And we really enjoy being together as women, right? And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to see the plans we can make and the things we can do. Um, yeah, my favorite color, I guess, is aquamarine. I think everyone knows me already. I came from Africa, Mozambique, uh, since uh, uh, 1986. I'm living in Portugal. Uh, I have uh, three mixed blood lineage, India, Africa, and China. Oh. Yeah. Yes. So uh, I met the movement, and uh, I start working with the former uh, president of Daniel Sarupi since the beginning, uh, because it was really very nice in Portugal. She, she did very good work. Uh, her name is uh, Professor Aida Reich. I think that some of you know her. In 2008, they thought that I could be president for the Women's Federation for all this in Portugal. I didn't know exactly what to do, but I said, okay, maybe it's mission, I have to accept it. So I accept it. And I am going on. Thanks to all of you, I grow up a little bit. Uh, and now I'm here with you. Thank you very much. I brought some uh, girls from Portugal, but when, thanks to Miti, she came, uh, uh, Erika, and Esperanza came to, with me. I hope that uh, one of them can take front line one day, but I'm here to support you. I have three children, two grandchildren, and I'm living with my old mother, and what, what can I say more? 
Okay, I'm lawyer, I'm working as lawyer, and um, yeah, I'm here. I'm here to, to support WFWP because this is my flag. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, I'm my favorite color. You know, I really love every color. Yeah. I really love. But because of the meaning, I can choose two of them. It's uh, green and white. Yeah. Peace and hope. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Kyungin. I am from the Netherlands. And, um, my mama is from Portugal. And my parents were actually at the same blessing as my direct colleague from the UN team, <laughs> as Maya. In the 78. Um, yeah, and Elizabeth Riedel, she inspired me to join the Women's Federation. She was also at the UN team. So, um, yes, I, uh, my husband is from Congo, and um, my favorite, I also don't have a favorite color. I like very bright colors or very light colors, but uh, I really don't like orange, which is the national color of my country. <laughs> 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 terrible. Anyway, it's nice to meet you all and I hope to have a great time together. Thank you. Thank you. Well, maybe some of you don't know. My name is Michi Toma. Um, I've also been in the Women's Federation since its inception in 19... 92. 92. Yeah. My memory is going. Um, yeah, I started as a volunteer. I shadowed many of the sisters who are so empowered to do women's work. I was very shy. You wouldn't believe that. But yeah, I was very shy. And I just followed these sisters all the time to learn from them because I was always behind them, especially Tina. She's very good at advocating and networking. And I was always scared. So I was always behind her. So I, I, I found that really my apprenticeship was there, actually learning from other elder sisters. And then step by step, as volunteering, I got to know a little bit more about the Women's Federation. But also, I found the calling. I was part of, of course, the Family Federation, which I am. But I didn't totally feel I fitted in there, as, if I'm honest. But I did feel when the uh, Women's Federation was inaugurated, I thought, that's where God wants me to be. And that's where I'm going to focus, and that's where I'm going to invest. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and that's what I did from the beginning, uh, mm -hmm. without any expectation, but just wanting to learn the trade, actually. But also, I wanted to be more confident in myself, not to be afraid to mm -hmm. speak up and to speak my values, what I believe in, and what I can give to others because of what teachings I've received from true parents, but in a terminology which is acceptable to the wider society. So I learned some of my trades and I'm still learning about Women's Federation. I'm so happy uh, to know that True Mother is taking the helm and as women we will be able to support her and I think uh, Women's Federation is really, really precious to True Mother. Mm -hmm. She never puts you know, the Women's Federation down or, or other organisations it's really kind of in, in, in her organization, actually. That's where she also learned her trade, but <laughs> supported her. And uh, mm -hmm. I think um, people who, sisters who are involved in women's federation are quite special, I feel. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm blessed in 1982. So my husband is Japanese. I have three daughters, two grandchildren. And um, yeah, once I've got my eye on somebody, I don't let them go. <laughs> so uh, I've got my antennas open for <laughs> more, more young people. And I just feel God takes me there, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I s look around and I can spot the people. And then I've got them. And for example, Erika, I knew that my balcony said that some of these young people have gone to this pilgrimage in Korea. And I thought, wow, that's amazing that they could go and experience all these uh, things with, you know, the building where true parents have been. So they've really been cultivated, so they're ready. <laughs> they're ready now. They want to do something. So I thought, let me look out. And I don't know how I found Erica. Through Cynthia. Sorry? Through Cynthia. 
Cynthia. Cynthia Cabral. 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 She's living in France. Yeah, I don't know who I found, but I found you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just felt she's ready. She's cultivated. She's ready. It doesn't matter about age, but she, there's something in her. And then uh, how could I connect her? And I wanted to, I was speaking with Olga, and Olga wanted to do her moral education. I thought, oh, gosh, that's great. And I didn't want to be the MC. I thought of Erica. So I put Erica and, uh, and Olga together. They can support each other, and they do a great job actually together. So, thank you, Eric, and thank you, Olga. Yeah. So, yeah, it works like that. It just works like that. If you keep your antennas you. open, <laughs> keep them open, God will take you there and bring the people together. So, um, yeah, I don't know why I said all that. Um, yeah, my favorite color is yellow. I like it because it's bright, it's cheerful, and the sun shines on it, and it's just absolutely, I love sunflowers because they follow you, and there's something beautiful about yellow, actually. So, thank you very much, and thank you, Elisabetta, for, and Francesca, for really, you know, preparing this for us. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I live nearby, I mean, yeah, so spending summer full time with my mom <laughs> and taking care of the property and trying to do some business here. And yeah, my favorite color is blue and purple. Mm -hmm. Thank you. In the past, we had a lot of second gen here. Carmen was the big one, and Francesca was the S, so they <laughs> gave me another country. But they did a lot of activity together, so they know each other since one time, and also they are relatives. <laughs> 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 <laughs>